all right so uh seven days post duck attack um it is the weekend and we are uh, out here trying to um redo the setup so that this doesn't happen again um I went ahead and transplanted some marigolds here. I don't know how much longer they're going to be with us. Uh, and a few of the mini zinnias. Um, just to make it look better and it gives the dog something to pee on. <laughs> and then um, I dug up a lot of the plants that were kind of in this area just to make it look better. And then we moved the little boxes that Jeremy made inside of the tunnels. He is getting ready to cut the janky panels to put over this one. He just finished building these new, nice, non-treated, <laughs> non-treated um, frames to hold the cattle panels in um, so that we don't have the creosote-filled railroad ties back here anymore. Um, we are getting ready to try and tackle a huge project here. Um, we tore down the shed with the dumpster uh, that was here uh, last week, last weekend. Um, and we're going to turn this area into the duck area. Um, and so we're going to move the old cat run because Tidwig passed. So we're going to take this old cat run here um, and move that up there. Um, and so that will keep the ducks fully enclosed at night so that no more raccoon attacks um, can happen. Um, and then uh, kind of square off around this chicken coop just a little bit. Uh, and then that way um, all of the animals are kind of going to be on one side. Um, we still got to kind of move this dirt around a little bit more. Um, some of it's going to end up having to stay now so that we can keep this level. Uh, but we're basically going to um, run this long and skinny so that donuts is on one side and the girls are on the other but we'll have it come straight back this way and then just leave enough of a, a walkway here so that I can get through the baby greenhouse and to the asparagus and the rhubarb um, and then we're gonna get rid of all of that over there um, both times that the raccoons have attacked now, the coops have been back here in this corner. And this one's still in the corner, but it will be fully enclosed. So um, it'll be a little bit better. So um, Donuts always sits right by the gate, right by Dunkey anyway. Um, so he's going to just have basically the same skinny area that he has. Um, and then the girls um, will be in a longer skinnier area. But then um, we can get rid of all this junk back here and get rid of this this panel. Um, we need to replace this fence. And so um, I think I'll just move the bunnies back here because um, they're not out here unattended. Move the bunnies back here. Their hutch is just along in the corner. But then that opens up all of this. And then we can kind of start leveling out the dirt a little bit more um, and filling in this area. Um, it's always been the problem we've had in this house is that the dirt that's back here always moves down that way towards the house. And uh, it's not bueno. So um, we'll probably have to get another load of dirt to fill in on that side of the house that got low. Um, but we'll see how that goes. This is going to be a huge project. So anyway, I'll give you an update in a little bit. My hubby is over there helping the neighbor cut this down. I'm excited. It's going to let so much more light in over here. Stupid trees. Alright, 
so we had a lot of work last night. Transplanted flowers look kind of mad. I'll get them some more water today. Cleared out this area. Left just a few. Some transplanted and stuff moved in there so we can put the plastic on it today. The new boxes in daylight. Oh, I hear the chicken girls. Come on, dogs. Uh, what does everything do over here? I transplanted the vinca vines. They look like they did okay. That guy's mad. But these guys survived the hail. They're actually coming back. So this is my lilac and my Virginia creeper baby because we have got to get this fix fenced this year. Um, so most of that is gonna be ripped up. It's not even on our side of the property, actually. It is um, uh, between the two houses, actually. So we moved the duck houses out and we're taking all of this down today. And then this will be prime growing stuff for next year and um, hopefully no more raccoon attacks. So today we have to make the duck run connect from here to basically the end of this. And then I'm going to move the rhubarb. Um, and so this can be a duck run. And then next year if the asparagus comes up, um, I will dig it up as it comes up and move it. Um, because it is, uh, I don't think it's getting enough sun back here. Emrys, come on. So, um, we've got to put some shavings. Hey, get, what are you guys trying to eat? Get some shavings in here for these guys. And, um, the neighbors gave us their dog run that they had left over from the people that had bought it and left it there. Um, so we got basically... One, two, three, four, five more panels. And um, we took one of the panels and made a roof on this one, which freed up panels here. Um, we've got three panels that are unused that we can use to kind of make the duck run or the second part for the girls, basically. Um, and we may go ahead and bring it out, basically, just outside of the caged area so that the girls have a slightly bigger area to run and then we'll have to give them um, some protection from hail um, also but that way if donuts is being a snot um, he uh, he can stay in that part there and then um, that should be by next year some awesome planting underneath that tree uh, because of all the animal blessings <laughs> So, and then the pallets will be gone. We'll get another dumpster this week. And so the rest of the stuff that we just dug up and that pile of stuff there uh, can go into the dumpster. The gate we're going to try and put up on the other side of the house over there so that there's two access points to the backyard. We are making progress. It should look much nicer back here. It should be a lot safer for the birds. My gardens will be safe from my chickens as well as the um, wild raccoons, squirrels, and birds that kept coming in and eating everything because I'll have um, hail covering on it. So, and we'll probably move the bunny hutches back here for now. Um, I don't know, maybe even back in this area. Can't see them back there though. Yeah, I like where they are because they're in shade and they can stay out a little bit longer. So I think we may still stick them up underneath that tree. But anyway, we are making some awesome progress and in the hopes of someday. Huh? You want to keep the duck pools in here? No. Well, I guess for now, so they're out of the way, yeah, but... It needs to go into their thing eventually. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to figure out where we are going to um, put this rhubarb. I could line it coming down this way because that gets a lot of sun and it would help hold dirt back. But when I'm pulling the hose around, I might snap them. I don't know. I got to think about that. I need to plant my garlic, which I think I'm putting my garlic in here. All these little squares that I threw in here will probably go back in here. But we got to get all this junk out of here. It's crazy how much light there is, too, without that tree towering over the greenhouse and our yards. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so bright back here. I love it. So we've got options. We'll see how today fares in the rearranging and putting of things up. Get plastic on these last two hoops. And Baylor, quit eating whatever you're eating. Hey, get over here. You're going to go back inside. I know. They're going to end up barfing all day. Both of them are doing it. Oh, well, anyway, we will give you guys an update later on, okay? Catch you later. Yeah, they can come out today because we're going to be building in here. Don't let the girls step on those things. Just put her down. Just put her down. Hi. Good morning, Beanie. They know that's their area over there. They're so smart. Yeah. Are you sure you want to It's okay, honey. We'll watch them. It's so we can stick him in the barrier wire like last time. Hello, farmhand. <laughs> you look cute. You guys look cute. You look like you're ready to paint. Oh, she's happy now. <laughs> she's like, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, are you done already? Silly girl. She's like, I'm done. Oh, look, he gets a shower with his bath this morning. <laughs> Where's Donkey? Go get her. <laughs> He's such a pain in the butt, but I love him so much. He is beautiful, little beast. What do you think, donuts, huh? You got the cookie monster? Cookie monster. Hello, cookie monster, huh? Hi, you gonna play for a while? Oh, he's shedding so bad. Thank you for kicking mud all over my feet, guys. <laughs> Stupid dogs.
Happy ducks. Happy chickens. Happy dogs. Huh. Oh, and there's the donkey. She hears them. She's like, guys, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, is that your mate? Here she comes. Here she comes. She's talking. Oh, he jumped out of that bath yeah. so fast. There she is. Let's look at her. It's looking much better. <gasps> yeah. There's your boy. There's your boy. Oh, look at him go right to her. <laughs> It's funny, he, he, he loves her and protects her, even though he can't breed with her no more. She quit laying eggs finally, right? I don't know. I haven't seen three eggs in the nest in a while. There she is, she's back. She's, she's like, at, okay, I'm going to go back to her. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, she's safe. <laughs> I know she's safe. Go back up there. Yeah, go up to him, good girl. Getting hard to walk, huh, old lady? <laughs> that old girl. She's been through so much. <laughs> oh, he's so happy this morning. Look at him. He's like that every morning. He's yeah. Like <laughs> Guess it's just extra beautiful because it's a fall morning and... We didn't lose Duncan. I don't want to get closer. I don't want to get drenched. <laughs> He's so mean to her. Good morning, Duncan. Good morning. Yeah, we're going to be changing everything up, guys. Making you a better run that is fully enclosed so no more owies happen. He's so beautiful. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not kidding you. It's funny, we've had him two years now, and I guess he's tamed down a little, because you said when you pick him up now, he just kind of goes limp, but, he fight. yeah, he yeah. used to fight a lot, yeah. He's tamed down some. I don't know if you guys know, but both of the white ones were ones that we found that were dropped off at the fishing pond that we go to, and um, they were starving to death out there. They don't, they don't do well like that, so... Um, we got Duncan ten years ago, nine years ago, and donuts we've had two years now. And ever since he's come home, man, he, he has loved Duncan. The other two are also two now. Because I thought Duncan was on her way out, so I got two more so he wouldn't be alone, and then Duncan recovered. <laughs> so, yeah, four ducks later. <laughs> that was graceful, buddy. Good job. Beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. I love when they put their feathers in their beaks and straighten them out and clean them. And... Well, hello, little Bun Bun. What are you doing? Good morning, Bun Bun. Are you enjoying the sunshine too? Huh? She is so pretty. I love her. She played on my bed for 20 minutes this morning. There's the cookie monster. Is YB not out? Not yet. Hi. Do you see your pretty girlfriend next door, huh? Do you see your pretty girlfriend? Huh? It's too bad you guys don't get along. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I know, you want to run the yard again, but I'm sorry, today's a work day. 
today's a work day. Oh, chicken molting can be so bad. Bo is having a rough molt this year. Bo, look at you. You're a hot mess, girl. You're a hot mess. There she is. I said, Ivy needs to be out here. Good morning, beautiful. Are you going to go play too? Huh? Are you going to go play too? I love her fluffy little face. It's so cute. Bo, look at your naked butt, girl. Oh, it's so naked. You look like a plucked chicken. <laughs> Not a molting chicken. You can see all the feathers back there. Oh my goodness. It looks like one of them got attacked, but they're just molting. I did too. I was so scared last night. I was like, is everybody accounted for? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's crazy to see all this open space over here. Oh, I love it. Yeah, totally thought chicken got killed over here. <laughs> huh. Yep. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Get rid of the rest of the trash. And finish painting. And hopefully we can do an appraisal and fix the windows. And the bathtub. Those are have to do this season. We've did so many changes in a year. It's crazy. Oh, hi. I heard you scream at me. We get like five of them every morning. Yeah. It's because they know there's lots of worms here. No berries. Oh, yeah. They're eating the Virginia creeper. That's right. Yeah, there was some rocks over here and there was purple poop on it. It's because they're eating these. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it and I hate it. Yep. That's okay, because we're going to move that rhubarb. And we may try and go ahead and see if we can dig up the asparagus so I can move them. That way they have that whole area to run in plus this. And if Dad can kind of extend it to there as a fenced off area, that'd be cool. I don't know if that's doable though. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. And then once we get the back side of the house painted, oh my goodness. It looks beautiful. It looks so nice. Oh, it feels so good to be getting these projects that have been on the to-do list for so long. Done. Hey, chicken girls. Hey. Hey. Look at my rough girls. They're molting so bad. Huh. You said it's dirty girls. You're dirty girls. <laughs> we still have the back side of the coop to do, but third side's almost done. My little minions. Pretty stinking cute looking at them working together. <laughs> Don't make mean faces, you punk. <laughs> He's looking good. We're going to have to be extra careful with the girls when we do paint so that if any drips, they don't eat it. Or we could just have them all run free in the yard, don't we? Don't the ducks fight with them now, though? Yeah, they do. They do have For a little while? Okay. Maybe we should do that because I don't want them to do like Daddy did yesterday where he spit dirt, spit out of his mouth and then the chicken went and ate it. It was gross. <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> Oh, are you nice and warm? She just stopped. Oops. Careful, oh, she can spring. still, yeah, she can still. <laughs> spring attack. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Did you hold her, Addy? Yeah, you held her. It's been a long time since I've held a snake. Yeah. Yeah, this one. yeah you did. One. Just a minute ago. Oh, I saw Naya. <laughs> you did hold her. I love the 
scales underneath. Don't touch Not the, the head. Yeah, yeah never underneath. Head. Oh, like underneath. Her, yeah. Oh, oh, she doesn't like it. Yeah, she's like, nope. She's like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. She's a good size. Yeah, oh, my she goodness. Is. Ooh, she's fast. <laughs> Let her go near the chicken. Or the ducks. Go put her behind the bunny cages. Or put her inside my garden. The greenhouse, yeah. Well, she'll get out. The front's not sealed at all.